both of those uh, agencies uh, are responsible for the death of this man. Immigrant rights groups are reacting to the first COVID-19 death of a detainee at the Otay Mesa Detention Center. That detainee was originally from El Salvador. Our tenders reporter Laura Acevedo tells us why these groups are once again asking for immigrants to be released. We know the man had been hospitalized since the end of April. He died this morning in a hospital. The COVID-19 outbreak at the Otay Mesa Detention Center has been on the minds of immigrant activists for weeks. This was a preventable death. It did not have to come to this. Pedro Rios is with the American Friends Service Committee, just one of the groups asking for the release of detainees at the facility, saying they don't have proper facial coverings or ways to practice social distancing. It's not a facility that has in, in as a priority the basic human welfare of those it detains, and for that reason, people should be released. The detainee that died hasn't been identified pending family notification. Rio says the man was 57 years old from El Salvador and had a relative in Los Angeles. He says ICE and CoreCivic, the contractor that runs the facility, had the power to improve conditions inside. Both of those uh, agencies uh, are responsible for the death of this man. The ACLU also reacted to the detainee's death today, saying in part, unless ICE acts quickly to release far more people from detention, they will keep getting sick and many more will die. A statement Rios agrees with. If nothing is done, I think that uh, this facility, the Otay Mesa Detention Center, essentially becomes a petri dish for COVID-19. We did reach out to ICE and CoreCivic for a comment. We did not hear back from CoreCivic. ICE told us they cannot comment until family is notified. Laura Acevedo, 10 News.